You may recognise that song later on. Um. Okay, let's head up this way. Uh, I'm just wondering if it works here actually. Because we're going to have some beasts to take care of. Um, if we head back this way, there's going to be an item. Are they scared of this one? These guys aren't. I'm not in trouble. I'm not doing that much damage to these guys. <laughs> Get the pistol out. I'm trying to get one on their own. We could try and uh that was a bit too fast. Like the easiest way to deal with these is just get to their uh to their left side. Wondering if it's. Oh, but yeah, you can get the viscerals on them as well, but they do do. F their attacks are fast. So it's not as easy to time, but either way works pretty well. Um, right, so if we go down. This way. <laughs> I always get killed by that guy. Um. But yeah, there's something further down there. Um. You can either go that way or that way. That way it leads to the house where we unlock the shortcut. If we go down here, there's an item. And it just kind of uh, brings us back to to this alleyway where we unlocked the shortcut earlier. So it's just kind of like that shortcut with the boxes kind of lets us avoid the uh, the wolves, the hounds. Uh, there's a little trap down here as well with this guy. Pungent, a blood cocktail. When the hunt began, the healing church abandoned us, blocked the great bridge to the cathedral ward, as they burned old Yarnum to the ground on that moonlit night. Um, let's kill this guy. Um, and then that leads us back to the to the shortcut again. Um, <laughs> so yeah, there's, if we head down this way, there's going to be two guys. So if you're ever like short on um, the healing items, <laughs> you can uh, head down here, get some viscerals on these guys, kind of, ideally you want one at a time, but we've got two here, so... Just take these guys out. Um, and this is that like they usually drop some uh, some blood vials from them. There's two from these each, so uh, it's kind of like a little uh, farming way to get some more uh, blood vials back if you ever need the healing. Uh, further down here we've got a shortcut, which I don't think we've unlocked yet. Uh, nope. <laughs> um, okay, so if we go back into the house... Get a 
teleport shots we can see. There's gonna be some guys hiding around here. Some crazy crows. Um, if we got any Molotovs, they're all like blocking this guy's path. Throwing some Molotovs. <laughs> no. Almost pulled that off. Not quite though. Just don't go in head on, because I'll do that uh, jumping attack. Um, okay, and there's uh, the bridge which has been blocked off. Uh, but I'm not going to head there just yet. Because I will probably die right now. Um, so there's... <laughs> So the next part of this as well is the uh, is the sewers. Um, so there's kind of like the normal way, and there's also the back way. If we go the back way, we can pick up a few more items. I think this is a a, a route that's used for uh, speedrunners for the uh, blood level one runners. So I'm going to try and get down here. Um, so let's just send this ladder, ladder. So this is the back way. It's kind of a, an easy way to get a, an upgrade or two. Let's head down here. Because right now we, we've just got uh, the clothes that we woke up in. Don't have any uh, real armor just yet. So if we get hit, it's going to hurt. Um, and there's some enemies down here which do a lot of damage to us. I hope I don't get any of these, too many of these enemies on me at once. Let's try and get a... Try and get a visceral. I just can't remember which ones, which ones they are. <laughs> so let's head over here, see if we can kill this guy. These ones, uh, these ones hurt. Uh, they've got a lot of range on them. A lot of range and they do a lot of damage. See if we can the uh, I'm not getting the <laughs> this one on these, but they also stagger. So uh, if you're uh, if you get close to them, you can uh, just stagger them. It's probably the best way to do these ones rather than trying to try and get the visceral attack. Um, are there any more? This guy. Some more blood vials. So we've got some rats down here. Um, before we head down there, we need to go to these. 
It's easier to go to these beams to try and get them as we're falling down. Uh, so it's just this one. Just gotta try and like line it up, drop down. Okay, it wasn't what I thought it was. Uh, but no worries. So it's gonna be this one then. Wow. Let's get out of the way this guy's attack. Shit. We just gotta make sure we don't get hit by that again. It's got a lot of range on it, it's swinging around his body. That was awful. Uh, but this is what we want over here. Uh, hunter hat, hunter garb, hunter gloves, and hunter trousers. And then we can put that on straight away. Um, so this is going to give us a lot of defense. So physical defense from 20 is going to be up to 50. Like everything's increased. Uh, so it's nice to get these on straight away. So we can take it and take a bit more damage. Let's clear up this area. See if we've missed anything. So that will get down here. So we just got throwing knives down here. Um, was there anything down here? So we can drop down here. Just wondering if there's any items on the way down. Uh, I don't believe there is. Uh, so that's the back way. You can come the back way and drop down there. And kind of progress that way. Uh, but mainly just wanted to get that air, uh, this armor. Here we can take the ladder back up. Uh, head the other way. Okay, so I just go the, the normal way. So at the bottom of that house, uh, let's go down this way. So if we go the other way, um, away from the shortcut, uh, where we drop down with those uh, those boxes at the start, uh, there's another way down here. Extra echoes from those guys. Chained up dogs. <laughs> but cool. Isn't always enough. Well, if you wanted to 
So what the hell? Are you gonna tell me you're not? No. No respect for the elderly is what that is. That little good you outsiders do. Go on. Admit it. Stupid look like go and stop it. Um, okay, <laughs> so that's uh, one of the first NPCs that's asking for, for sanctuary, for safety. Uh, we have... Okay, we haven't got it yet. Um, <clears throat> we don't get that until a little bit further on. Um, but before we can do that, we're going to go see a little friend. Um, so we're up in the roof. Which went to the left, came down that window. Um, we're gonna collect some items up here. And uh, cut down some items as well. And try not to fall. Uh, and then there's a little uh, uh, entryway over here. A hunter, are you? And an outsider? What a mess you've been caught up in. And tonight of all nights. Here. To welcome the new hunter. Blood Hunter's Mark. Prepare yourself for the worst. There are no humans left. They're all flesh hungry beasts now still lingering about what's wrong a hunter unnerved by a few beasts <laughs> no matter without fear in our hearts we're a little different from the beasts themselves I'm going to shake off cape. What are you still do? Enough trembling in your boots. A hunter must hunt. Hunter must hunt. Is that Eileen? The Yorkshire lass? Um. <clears throat> so yeah, she's saying without fear. There's little difference between the beasts and the people that hunt them. Um, and all the people, all the animoids that are down here, they've all become um, bloodthirsty hunters. They've all become the beasts they tried to uh, to hunt themselves. Um, what was a safe place to drop? Let's drop down here. back. This is still like a dangerous place to be. We can still get some air. If we get caught up in that, we die. I'm trying not to use as many uh, blood files as possible, but I'm just keep going through them. At least we're getting some more. Um, so we kill that guy up there. That's just... Uh, Back up to the top where we are. Uh, I went through that window. Um, so this is going to be the other side of the sewers. And if we kind of just slowly walk up to these guys. Do a charged attack. And then we can get a visceral. Get some more potions. Is there a guy? There's another guy up here somewhere. Here he is. And then 
this guy. Can we sneak upon him? Probably not. I didn't think I was going to make that land. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like whenever you pick up a weapon, it's always good to get familiar with your your attacks, with your with, with the moves that I can do. Um, but yeah, you've got your R1 for your quick slash combo. You've got your R2 for your heavier attack, which takes a bit of a, a bit of a wind up. Um, and you can hold these in as well. No, you can hold the strong attack in. Um, and then you've also got the trick side of it, which is the L1 button. So this transforms into this. It has a more wider arc to it. Same again though, you can hold in your R2 for a powerful attack. Um, if you switch, you can actually switch during a combo as well. So if you're pressing your R1 and then you press your L1. I did that wrong. Press your R1 then your L1. It, uh, Switched into the other weapon while you're still doing the combo. Same with, uh, same on the opposite way as well. Um, did I want to clear down here first? This is my way back up. Let's, uh, let's clear some of these guys out. This is not too hard coming back. We're trying to get this guy in this roll. Uh, I think that might be all of them. items. I'm probably going to have to make a few trips around here. Just be careful with these crows. They're kind of camouflaged a bit here. We can just do some running. Running attacks. Or just take them out. I just normally would. Just watch out when they do their little uh, attack. <laughs> one hiding in there. Um, okay, platform. Which we don't want to jump off. And then another one over there. Um, there's a few more crows around here. And an item hidden behind here. Oil urn. Anything else? Yeah, so I guess the only other thing on this bit. Is on this platform. Plus stone shard. Nice. It's gonna come in handy for a, for an early upgrade. Okay, and there's a platform down there. So before we proceed, I'm gonna collect up some items back here. Can't remember if there's anything around this area. Let's head back up this ladder. And then we're just going to drop down to the side. So I think we're going to need to do this twice. One on either side. Which 
probably heal up here as well. Soul Spear. Uh, what's the difference between this? Uh, it's got more durability. No, it doesn't. Same durability. It's got different uh, scaling stats. Uh, so it just scales a little bit more with skill. It's got a lower base attack. It's got a thrust attack. So it depends on what you like. Now would be a good time to kind of choose between these two. I still prefer the uh, <coughs> the bone saw. Um. Okay. What do we do? I want to attack all these, but we need. To, uh, I want to get that over right. I'm down there as well. Let's just. Uh, all the way back up. I just drop down on this side. More upgrade materials, nice. Uh, so we should be able to upgrade our weapon with those. Let's see what this item is. Madman's knowledge, nice. Okay, so there's two bits we can do down here. Let's, uh, which one are we going to do first? If we go this way. This giant ladder. where we need to be for something. God, those crows are annoying. Just peck. <laughs> Got some more my man's knowledge. Nice. Um, so what's over this side? The lantern's out. Head up this ladder. <clears throat> this 
voices come from this window. And we have our next NPC. So I find the girl's mother. Oh, thank you. My mum wears a red jeweled brooch. It's so big and, and beautiful. You won't miss it. Oh, I mustn't forget. If you find my mum, give her this music box. It plays one of daddy's favourite songs. And when daddy forgets us, we play it for him so he remembers. Mum's so silly when I'm off without it. My mum wears a red jeweled brooch. It's so big and beautiful. You were oh, and if you find her, just say, I know you can do it. <laughs> 